Grand Rising family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone that's new. Family, this reading is going to be for um, Thursday the 13th. It's what's in the energy for Thursday the 13th. I'm going to use some new decks that I received yesterday from a member of our community. Her name is Erin McGrath. Thank you, Erin, so much. I love you. I love the decks. Um, thank you for your contribution to, the, to our community, to our tribe, to our Aquarius Soul Family Soul Tribe. Um, you guys, um, I woke up from the day after my trip feeling under the weather uh body aches headache everything so bear with me as i get through this reading um i'm a highly sensitive empath so um I, it's it's not it's not very good for me to be around a lot of people so i've been spending time in meditation doing the cleansing and the purification and the aura cleanse and working with archangel Raphael to feel better i'm drinking some tea so um yes so yeah i've been working on trying to you know, um, purify myself after being on the plane, the airplane, being around a lot of people, um, and, and purifying and everything. So anyway, you guys, um, I haven't, I haven't gotten sick in over five years. So this, uh, is definitely new, a new feeling for me <laughs> with after over five years of not getting sick at all. So, um, I'm just hoping that it'll go away very soon. But anyway, here we are. Uh, I do feel like I'm going through an, another ascension and another purging. So it could be coming from that as well. But let's get started, you guys. Um, to all the new subscribers, welcome to the family. To everyone that's returning, welcome back. I know that it's still dark. I still have to get better lighting. Um, I just got back and I just uh, got all my equipment set up here. And this camera is different than the other one I have. So... Um, Bear with me as I get everything set up. But anyway, you guys, um, remember, take only what resonates and leave the rest. When I say, you know, uh, Thursday here, the 13th, it doesn't mean it's manifesting Thursday the 13th. It's what's in the energy. It could be manifesting for you if you're in alignment, right? This may happen in a day and in, in, or two days or in a week or a month, okay? Just please just take what's yours. Use your discernment and your intuition. Leave the rest for others. Let's see. Let's see what the message is for today. Spirit for the collective. I have here a soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. Your soul is getting ready to reconnect with your divine counterpart at this time. I love this energy. So um, trust in the process at this time. It's happening, you guys. Okay, the divine masculines are waking up. They're going through their, their healing, their cleansing, their karma clearing getting out of karmic situations, okay? So um, continue to trust the universe, continue to do what you've been doing as far as working on yourselves, focusing on your own, you know, healing your own self-love, your own journey, on, on all of the things that makes you feel passion and love and joy that brings joy into your life, working on just being in your feminine energy. To everyone that's returning, welcome back. To all the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Every single time you interact with the channel, by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, you um, help to support our community. It helps the message to reach those that need it. And it also helps our community to grow. It's how we can support each other. Thank you so much for that. If you guys would like to um, have your website created, um, I have my website designer, website creator, which is a member of our community, our beautiful earth angel. Her name is Rashida Smith. Her information is in the description box. If you'd like to schedule a personal reading with me, you can do all of that on the website. Everything's on the website, reviews, links to my other platforms. So all of that, everything that you need is on the website in the description box below. Let's get started.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. We have spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. All right, spirit. What is the main energy here for Thursday the 13th for the collective? Rekindle. We have your rekindle. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. So a beautiful energy of um, rekindling a love here. We have bond. A love bond grows stronger over time. So this bond, it looks like cannot be broken. It's just becoming stronger. I heard, um, what is it? Uh, time. Is it time? Or um, separation makes the heart grow fonder or something like that. So, um, so you have a bond here with somebody that cannot be broken. I'm going to get a message from Archangel Michael as well. We have at the bottom of the deck, don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear away for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. I heard, I heard, I don't feel safe. I don't trust this person. Archangel Michael wants you to um, work on your heart chakra some more. So prepare for union here, okay? For forgiveness and compassion. I feel like um, the person you could be dealing with here has made some really serious mistakes in their life. But I, I, I also heard, um, even though it was written, it was meant to happen this way, it doesn't take away from the fact that it hurts deeply, the choices that they made, you know, and... Um, I heard shattered dreams, shattered dreams it hurts deeply. And we can't take away from that, from the pain you felt with the choices this person made that did not include you, did not consider you at all. Right. So we have here, you're ready for more Archangel Michael. What, what is the message here for Wednesday, the 13th? I'm sorry, Thursday, Thursday, the 13th. We have regain your focus. So it's time to call in Archangel Metatron to help you to get organized, your thoughts, and to stay grounded, okay? To get out of your head space, that's masculine energy, and get into your heart space, feminine energy, okay? Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you to stay grounded. So do all the things, call in Archangel Metatron or do an Archangel Metatron meditation or go outside, spend time in nature. If the weather permits for you, if not, then um, do a grounding meditation. I love the one that Pure Rasa has. This is a very magical moment right now. You want that's why it's important that you maintain your vibration, okay, and hold your focus. For that, you're gonna need to fo come back to focus, come back to center here, okay. Regain your focus this time because you're manifesting magic. So I got blurry. Hello. Hold on, you guys. Ah, there we go. Embrace this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. That's why you're being asked to take control of your thoughts and ground your energy, okay? So open up to your spiritual gifts is at the bottom of the deck. Capitalize on this. Utilize your gifts to manifest your heart's desires, your dreams, as well as your goals. Okay. So, all right. Let's see here. Yeah, exactly what I said. Just, you could be, you know, um, hypervigilant right now. You, your guard could be up. You could be a little emotionally detached. I just heard, I'm not there yet. My emotions is not there yet. I'm not. You know, it's like somebody received another blow to their heart. I get, I'm, I'm getting something could have been revealed that was very painful. So, um, yeah, I, I believe that this union that you're preparing for union here is going to bring forth a lot of healing. I feel like this needs to be done in, in relation with another. Um, there has been some time to process. Okay, let's see what else. I'm drinking some echinacea to help with the feeling better situation. Mm. 
All right. Let me cut the deck. Yeah, there's some healing and patience and harmony and balance. I saw temperance card. Here's this connection. This twin flame, high level soulmate, true love connection here. This bond that can be broken. The lovers. It's a sacred, divine, spiritual connection that defies explanation. It's eternal love. It's that Celtic knot. I jumped to two days in a row. I posted it on Instagram at infant underscore love 1111 talking about eternal love. But this is a card, a card of a decision. A choice needs to be made at this time. What else here, spirit, please? For the collective. Yeah, nine of wands. You don't trust this person. It, it's uh, understandable. If, you've, if this person betrayed you a lot. If this person abandoned you over and over and over again, betrayed you over and over again, chose other people over you over and over and over again. Okay. But there is still a holding on to this perseverance. I'm not giving up on it. I heard love endures. How much can love endure? How much more, you know, swords in the back, in the heart. But apparently this bond cannot be broken. The love does this, this love doesn't die. It never ends. <laughs> so that's why spirit said, make way for forgiveness here. We have the, the Knight of Cups coming in with the love offer. I heard, show me, show me. The only way that trust can be earned from the bottom up is through consistency, follow through, a change behavior. Actions, right? Action speaks loudly. What else? Saw the King of Pentacles. That's been showing up a lot lately. So somebody's grounded. Somebody is grounded or is grounding at this time. What else here for, for Thursday the 13th? Queen of Cups, there's that forgiveness card, that compassion, that empathy, psychic, intuitive, creative. It's like this love has no end. There's a lot of love and a lot of emotion for somebody. You're already in the energy of openness and receptivity. You're ready in the energy of forgiveness. The feminine energy is the queen of love, unconditional love and forgiveness here. Even though this queen has been wounded, very wounded by this love, extremely wounded. There's still a spark. There's still a fire for this love, for this person. So the queen of cups is open and receptive ready to share her love and share her cup. I heard, I heard welcome home again. What else? Spirit. For Thursday here, the 13th. Oh God, the devil card. So this person may not be fully, you know, healed here. There's some shadow that's coming up here in the energy. Or this queen is, is, is in forgiveness energy over this, sh this darkness, this shadow that lingers around this other energy. This right here is an energy of temptation and lust even. A lot of sexual energy. Obsessive energy, okay? Attachment and codependency, even addiction, right? I'm I'm hearing her say, I don't know why I heard her say it's okay to this devil energy. You know, everything's going to be okay. I heard we'll get through this. We'll get through. We can get through anything. Why am I getting emotional? Somebody could be feeling emotional. Queen of cups. We have here a, a, a counterpart. King and a queen of cups showing up now. Somebody's retreating, doing the in, doing shadow work and overanalyzing a situation, thinking a lot about this in, in hermit energy. Could be watching as well, lurking in the shadows. But yeah, I'm gonna get more information on this devil. This devil could be, you know, the interference, what's getting in the way, the restrictions, the repression. It is Capricorn energy, it is Saturn. So Something is karmic about the situation. 
karma needs to be cleared. Somebody could be dealing, still be caught up in some kind of karmic situation. The devil is, you know, um, it's, it's temptation, right? It's temptation. Somebody, I heard somebody can't take it anymore. Being apart, being away from each other is, is becoming harder and harder. I can't take it anymore. Tell me more. The chariot. Oh, good. The cherry cancer energy. And there's lovers again. The lover just keeps wanting to show up and show up, show up, show up, show up, show up, show up with this king of cups and the hermit. There's a major change that's taking place right now with the wheel of fortune here. Prepare for change. Powerful change in this, in this, in, in, in this connection, in this relationship. The chariot. It represents overcoming the obstacles and the challenges, taking charge of the situation, regaining our focus. That's the chariot and moving forward. Okay. Balanced. The chariot is cancer energy. So it may have something to do with the fourth house, family and home. The yin and the yang, taking balanced action. It's a card of victory and success. I want to know more about this. Uh, I'm going to leave this lovers right there. I want to know more about this. Uh, Devil card, but first, tell me about this nine of wands. Tell me more about this um, nine of wands. You could be going back and forth, or this person could be going back. Different. Okay, I'm also getting this person is juggling. This person also has been wounded. Both of you guys have been wounded. But you're almost done. There's harmonious change. There is uh, juggling some kind of responsibilities, okay? There's a need to rest. Yeah, I heard that too when I was in meditation, that it's time to rest right now. To recover. To recover. There is a um, going back and forth. There, I'm, I'm, I'm getting somebody's persevering through something, gaining a lot of spiritual strength when it comes to their priorities, balancing out. There's a lot of things this person or you could be juggling in your life right now. Okay. Could be also working on balancing out the physical and the spiritual balancing out. Cause there's a lot of water here, balancing out your emotions. There's a need to come into balance to connect with your emotions. Queen of cups. Queen of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. So somebody could be watching the Queen of Cups. Or there could be some kind of message or delayed communication coming in. Again, the, the, the Pages are hypervigilant energy. Curious energy. The Pages, they do their research and they investigate because they're uncertain. They, they want to learn more. They don't have all the answers, okay? That's why you're being asked, Queen of Cups, to go within here, to connect with your intuition. She's psychic and intuitive, a healer and empath, creative, could be into the, the metaphysics, the occult, could be a psychic. Um, this person could be watching the Queen of Cups and... Yeah, feeling a little bit, you know, anxious here. Then we got the nine of swords and the king of wands feeling a little anxious about this action. That's where the devil is here. They're very tempted to take action. They're being guided to take action, but they're resisting. And that's why they're in the nine of swords and, and anxiety energy is because of fear. The feelings are mutual here, two of cups. This is a kindred partnership, right? We got the lovers and the two of cups again. Yesterday, we had the lovers and the two of cups. So this is a, once again, a bond, a sacred soulmate, twin flame, high level soulmate, a very sacred connection. There has been here karmic energies and entities that has gotten demonic karmic energies and entities that got in the way of this connection, that got in between this connection. The devil will always try to interfere with his sacred divine divine counterparts, right? 
And the longer that this person stays in this fear energy, this anxious energy, guilt, shame, too much thinking about the past, too much thinking about the future, not in the here and now, right? They, they, they go back and forth here about this action. The more the devil wins. Tell me about this page of swords. Yeah. Watching from a distance, making plans, making plans. Planning for the future, having foresight, waiting for the right time. I guess waiting for this queen of the, for, for the queen, the queen of clubs to put out the energy that, that she's open and receptive. She doesn't have to say anything. This is a, a energy of, 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 um, yang energy, waiting for it to come to you. Feminine energy of receiving, allowing and surrendering. It's an energy. The divine counterpart can feel this energy. The divine counterpart can feel when the energy is blocked, right? They can feel when you're pulling away. They can feel when you're sending them heart, love energy. They can feel it tele telepathically. When it's green light go, they can feel it. They might be waiting for a sign from you. But they're getting ready here. They're watching, observing, and waiting, getting ready to take action. Here with the chariot, there's movement forward, fast movement forward. Because I heard I can't hardly take it anymore. Yeah, it's a manifestation. Mercury energy, some communication is coming in. This is a card of action. They're stepping into their creative power. They're stepping into their creative power. What does it say? A love bond grows stronger over time. This bond just is not dying. It's just keep, it keeps growing. We have intense here. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. So that's what I feel this devil energy is. This nine of wands, this two of pentacles, great highs and great lows of this, uh, true soul connection. Right. And then we have commitment at the bottom of the, and receptive. Yeah, receptive right here. Queen of Cups. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. I, there's a lot of feelings here. Somebody's in their feelings. Time, take time to explore deep emotions that you are experiencing. And yeah, true love. There's been a lot of obstacles in the way here. True love comes when you least expect it, when you're not looking, when you're not chasing. When you're just living in the moment and enjoying your life to the fullest. There's a rekindling that's taking place. Magical. This is a magical time. You manifested this with the magician. They know they can't show up here in their, the way that their old conquering ways will just not work. There are boundaries now. I saw the queen of swords. Yes, I'm open. And I love you deeply. I will always love you. But there's just some things I will not tolerate. The devil. It, it's a requirement to show up to the Queen of Cups. Right. Clarify the devil. King could be dealing with the Capricorn or somebody that has those placements. King of Pentacles here. So... Somebody's in the process of breaking free from a karmic situation. We got the justice. The justice is talking about truth, fairness. You get what you give. Karma, balance. Okay. That's why the waiting here with the three of wands. So they can, so they can make a proper offer to the queen of cups so they can have this new beginning that so they can re, so they can claim this ace of pentacles. Yeah. So a king of pentacles has been in a commitment. As you can see, a contract, a karmic contract with somebody here with the devil, a very toxic, very toxic situation that they were in, but they're overcoming that obstacle, taking charge of their life, taking the reins of their life and moving towards the sacred union. It's very clear. Yeah, they're closing out a contract here. They have received karma for their past actions. You don't, you don't do an earth angel, a light worker, one of God's chosen ones, very dirty and get away with it. Okay. Nobody tends to get away with anything, especially if God sends you a healer to love you unconditionally 
and to and to heal you and you rip that earth angel's heart right out of their chest multiple times without integrity you're gonna get what you give you're gonna get what you give you're gonna reap what you sow god is very sensitive about their earth, god's earth angels very sensitive you're gonna learn i just heard so we got saturn here but we have um when the justice card comes out, that means that, that it is written for this to balance out, to balance the scales, for truth to be revealed. Okay? For truth to be revealed. This person and you have gone through a lot. The chariot. Clarify the chariot. Yeah, this person or you, there's been a retreating energy here for healing, a holding back. Somebody's keeping their plans here very close to their chest. They're strategizing. They're planning. Okay. This grand escape, this making a break for it here. Okay. Um, not sharing, not telling. Somebody has learned, uh, that sharing their business with others that are jealous and envious and don't want them to succeed and win people that are not open-minded people that are not awakened it's not going to be very helpful for them right the last time they listened to people they got themselves entangled in a karmic situation here you know that um i'm getting that there's some interference here with with family and toxic friends and, and people that this person goes to for emotional support that are not really helping them at all because they don't understand what this twin flame high level soulmate connection is. They're giving this person horrible advice from their own biases, from their own traumas, from their own woundings, conditioning and programmings, not from their higher self, from a heart based, fair and just, uh, perspective but i'm getting now that this person or you is keeping um their everything close to their chest here there's a lot of uh this person could be saving their money as well moving money around with the two of pentacles four of pentacles and the seven of swords this person is being very strategic here secretive I mean, you want to make sure that you leave situations from uh, from a, an integral place, not from a deceptive place, you know, because you get what you give, <laughs> right? You want to always be honest. I'm also getting this. This is somebody that is, that is a runner. This person operates from fear. So basically the energy that you put out is what you get back. So if this person is uh, making their, uh, their love based decisions from a place of fear, they're going to get more of what they're putting out. They're going to get exactly what they're afraid of. Clarify the lovers. Seven of cups. This person may have treated you as an option put you as an option made you a placeholder i'm getting somebody here has some resentment in their heart chakra that they need to work on healing around this situation somebody feels a lot of guilt i'm also getting somebody here is daydreaming and procrastinating and fantasizing they need they need to make this decision they're day daydreaming, procrastinating, and fantasizing about, yeah, somebody feels a lot of guilt, shame, guilt, regret, and remorse over picking a false twin flame or a false empress, a karmic over their divine counterpart, over their true empress. But there's an opportunity for healing. You will have to just go slow with it and take your time. There's going to be consistent work and effort. That's going to need to be put in for this to work. 
Like, how do you, how does a person feel safe again or earn trust? Is through a change behavior, effort, time. They got to put in the work and be patient. Be patient with the empress. Be patient with the person that got their heart ripped out so they, they can open up again and feel safe again to trust. This is talking about a healing, patience, and harmony. A union, a mending, twin flame connection. The angels are guiding this person and supporting this, 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 this reunion. Slow and steady here with the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is moving very slow. It's requiring a lot of patience. Why? Because this person feels a lot of guilt for, uh, for allowing their distractions here to get in the way of a sacred divine counterpart. A lot of guilt. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So they, they, they picked a, a very ruthless, cold, karmic over their empress. Okay. A cynical and a jaded, uh, uh, the queen of swords. There's two, two feminine energies here. That's what I'm getting. This person is sharp with their words. Her sword is up. I'm also getting, um, you're going to have some explaining to do with the queen of swords here. Okay. All right. Somebody's procrastinating, making this decision or taking this action with the Knight of Pentacles. Everything is happening in perfect divine order and perfect divine timing. As a matter of fact, I have a timing deck that I got from Aaron that I'm going to use today. A divine timing deck. I got it in the mail. Spirit, what is the time frame for this Knight of Pentacles here? To arrive is a destination. The destination is the Empress. What is the time frame here for the Three of Wands? I mean, just play with time. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So if you align with this energy, it could manifest during this time. We have January. Let's see. Seems like a long time, right? January. Spirit. What is the time frame of the Three of Wands? Around and about the time frame. Things happen sooner when you focus your energy on you. Giving yourself self-love. Okay? Things happen sooner. Distract yourself from the waiting game. So, bide your time. Right? If you already know that this is coming in, it is coming in. Three of Wands. Right? There is going to be a rekindling here. This person is dealing with their, with this... uh. With, with with things that you don't know about. There's more than meets the eyes in their life. They're breaking free from some kind of karmic contract. They had to receive, this had to happen. They had to receive their karma for how they treated the earth angel. Okay. Can you, is there anything else you can tell me about this three of wands? Around May, for some of you guys, or around May, something may have started to take place. What else can you tell me about the three of wands? Distract yourself from the waiting game again. So focus on yourself, on your self-love. Focus on, you know, you got to let go. You got to detach yourself here. Focus on your passions, your project, your work, your family, your friends, the things you love, the things that brings you joy. Working out, doing all of the things here for you. Take your energy back and away from this from this person, okay? This person is taking their sweet time. When they arrive, you may not even, although this bond is unbreakable, when they, we have September, when they arrive, you may have already moved on because you're in the vibration of love and unconditional love here, which says you're attracting in unconditional love. You're attracting in love into your energy. Tell me, what can you tell me about this Knight of Pentacles? We have December. 
For some of you guys, it's September. For some of you guys, it's January. For some of you guys, it's December. Okay? That this is going to take place this winter. I'm getting this fall or this winter for some of you guys. So be open. I'm just giving you, let go. Let go of it all for now. And stop focusing on time frames. Let go of it all for now. And, it's, and when you do, it's going to happen sooner than you expect at the bottom of the deck. I want to get... Um, Spirit, what else can you tell me about this person? I ordered on a deck from, from Etsy, you guys. It should be coming by the end of the month. I can't wait for it to get here. Um, it is a, 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 I think it's true, a true love oracle deck. I think that's what it's called. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, with the chariot card here, okay, there is going, the chariot is, is we have major arcanas, one, two, three, four, five, major arcanas, six major arcanas, which means there are major changes that's taking place right now, major life changes that's taking place around this relationship. So the universe, has, the angels in the universe is taking care of it all. Here, you don't have to do anything. Just stay in your feminine energy of receiving. King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Tell me what's going on with this King of Pentacles regarding his Queen of Cups. Coming apart. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. This person is probably going through a dark night. The old identity is the devil card. Whatever... Uh, the material, superficial world and lifestyle that they've been living. That's their old identity. Choosing partners um, from based, uh, based on their eyes, what their eyes likes to see from lust right here, from a sexual addiction, addictions. This person had addictions, sexual addictions, lust. They fell in love. They fall in love with their eyes, their heart. They fell in love with the queen of cups from their soul. That's why it's eternal. So it's like, they keep, they keep fighting it and resisting and running from this love. Make it make sense, I just heard. Make it make sense. This person must really uh, like to suffer because this person doesn't have to, to, to crave and yearn and long and miss this Queen of Cups. They can make the decision, the lovers, to come into union and do the right thing and stand up for what they want follow their heart and their soul and their intuition. But this person must have like an addiction to, to pain and suffering. That's a real thing, by the way. Some people that live their whole life feeling pain and suffering, that's all that they know. That's their comfort zone. This person must, must, must think that it, that it isn't love unless they feel pain and suffering. This person can stand up and do the right thing, justice card at any given time. They're in their free will. But they're choosing, they're making their free will choice to stay away and watch it from the sidelines and watch from a distance from this Queen of Cups. They're making a free will choice not to come towards the Queen of Cups, not to fall the Queen of Cups. Remember that. I know everything's in divine timing. So, yeah, unspoken love at the bottom of the deck. They've been carrying a torch. For you all alone, but unable to confess their love due to their fear of rejection. Fear. This, this person, uh, is, has been a prisoner and a slave to their fears, their illusions, their delusions, their, their addictions for a very long time, but they're coming apart. That's changing. This person has been running, holding back, being stuck in a comfort zone depriving themselves of what they are worthy and deserving of, which is true love of what they want the most. The thing that they want and crave the most is also the same exact thing that they fear the most, the most. So they can still feel the energy cords between you. 
that is keeping you two connected. Give me one more for this king of pentacles. Fairy tale. Yeah, they're in resistance energy. Right here, but that it looks to me like that's going to change. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. Yeah, they're being pinned down by this devil energy here. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them, you're just too perfect to believe it's true. This person doesn't feel deserving and worthy of the, of the very love they prayed for and manifested, dream of, wish for. And it's like it's here and they're fumbling it. It's here again for them. They're getting another chance, another go round, and they're still not claiming it. They're still not receiving it. They're still fooling around here in the Seven of Swords, playing games, and then regretting it. Why? Makes make it make sense. Make it make sense. It's like this person likes this energy here. They like it. They like to suffer. It's all that they know. It's what they're used to. The unknown. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance that you're bringing to, again, with the scaring and the fear. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what this person wants to say, and then we'll pull... Um, We'll pull uh, uh, guidance from the Pure Magic Oracle that I also got from Aaron. So this, this Queen of Cups has been extremely patient with this energy, enduring, unconditionally loving, forgiving, open and receptive. That's why they don't feel like they deserve it because they have been the opposite of that towards this queen of queen of cups they have not shown this queen of cups any love they did not show this queen of cups how they feel about this queen of cups it's unspoken love it's 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 very very interesting very interesting. Uh, this person, so this person is still not there yet with their soul evolution, their maturity, their ascension, their healing. It's it's what it's looking like because they're still when 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 a, when the divine masculine is conscious and aware and they have ascended, they don't make their love based decisions from fear and ego, the devil. They make it from love, unconditional love from their higher self. Which means they wouldn't choose to be away from their divine feminine. No, no. They wouldn't let fear keep them away from their divine feminine. What does this king of pentacles wants to say? Okay, that was fast. I hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was reacting in fear. Again with the fear. So this person is feeling guilt. They're making the decisions right now from guilt. Guilt. And you shouldn't make your decisions from guilt. Right? This person needs to forgive themselves. Shouldn't make their decisions from guilt. Because guilt, it's like, I, I, I don't deserve you. I feel foolish. I feel embarrassed. I feel guilty for the way that I treated you. So I'm going to just stay away from you and suffer. When this person is already forgiving them, is already in receptive energy, is still in love with them. It, you know, make it make sense. I keep hearing, make it make sense. What else does this king of pentacles wants to say? I care about you, even when I act like I don't. I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable. This person is not comfortable with vulnerability. They feel that vulnerability is a weakness, not strength. It is strength, okay? So when this person decides to step into their confidence and, and, and step into their true authentic self 
and choose to make their love-based decisions from their higher self, that's when they're going to be showing up in their true nature with strength. And that's what's attractive to this Queen of Cups is initiation and action from the masculine. We have karmic ties. We have a past life connection. Memories are surfacing either consciously or subconsciously. This could be a, a biracial couple, as you can see here in this past life card. So there are the, the things that are coming up, the memories that are coming up for this king. As you can see, this is a karmic contract. What's coming up for this king is from a past life, past life fears and things like that. We have a telepathic message. There are messages being exchanged through music and movies. Listen carefully and trust what you hear. So you guys are sending telepathic messages to each other. And then we have these feelings overwhelm me and I become afraid. Sometimes I run away from you. Seven of swords. This person pull back their energy. I run away from you because of it. Experienced a love like this before? Spiritual love, soul love, eternal love, unconditional love, real love. I'm, I'm getting this person is very grateful for this queen. They didn't show appreciation to this queen of cups in the past. But I feel like this person is grateful for the spiritual lesson. This person is grateful for, for this queen showing them what true unconditional love is. They feel very grateful. For the lesson, for this Queen of Cups, love. I'm going to get you guys uh, your guidance and then we'll wrap. I have to still do, I'm waiting to feel a little better. I have to do the uh, Aquarius love, Aquarius singles and Aquarius new love reading. I already did the July reading. So the, the chariot is saying that there will be action that will be taken. They may show up at your house. Okay. They may send you a call or a text message with the page of cups. This is what they're going back and forth about. But they're holding back because they're feeling intimidated. They're feeling afraid. They don't know what to say. I don't know how to express myself. I feel the Queen of Cups knows that this is coming. She's very intuitive and psychic. This Queen of Cups has been so patient. Um, here, what is the guidance and the message for the collective, please? I got two here. We have Vernane Everlasting, Spellbound, Soul Alignment Release and Protection, and Mantra Medicine, Command, Song, Incantation, and Containment. Number nine. I'm just going to read the little message because there's two cards here. But they both came out for a reason, so. And bear with me, guys. It's dark in here. And you guys know I, need, I, I still need glasses. That hasn't changed. Okay, here we go. The plant spirit of Vernain, Vervain, sorry, urges you to release your mental and physical strain as it works to ease your internal wounds and soften your fears. It calls you to be brutally honest with yourself and to remember to stay in alignment with your heart's calling in life. You are not without assistance from the earth as a vervain creates a gateway for you to break through the barriers that arise and rediscover the healing and joy on the horizon. Prioritize your energy and remember to nourish yourself with self-care. Do not choose escape from your spiritual path. Choose instead to protect your heart's happiness. Choose your choose. Don't choose to escape. Choose to protect your heart's uh, happiness. I'm also gonna get. I forgot. I'm also gonna get a um, message from the romance angels as well. Mm. 
You might need to do a, a twin flame, a violet flame meditation because I'm getting the energy here of somebody's uh there's an energetic match here. Somebody's feeling pain or anger or uh irritation. Somebody needs to get grounded. Okay. Are you sure are you sure of your words both spoken and the ones floating within your mind? Are you honest about your truth and unafraid to voice your power? Do not feel afraid to express your creative expression, but be mindful of how you speak your mind. The mind is a cauldron. Before the spells are cast, are your words expressing love or fear? Are your words expressing love or fear? Sometimes we get lost in the ocean of our own thoughts and forget we need to share them carefully with another who can carry them in, in sacred space. If you're feeling overwhelmed with thoughts and words, now is the time to speak to someone. Either you or this person, they need to talk to express yourself or journal, okay? Alternatively, if you're feeling you have been saying too much, distracting yourself and others to drown out the silence, now is the time to contain your energy. There is a time to be silent and a time to speak. So create a good balance here, okay? Speak when you feel you need to express yourself, but don't, don't overshare, right? So, okay, let me pull from the Romance Angels and then we'll wrap. You guys, <laughs> this energy, this energy, you know, just, just, just stay in this vibration of love, feminine energies, stay in this vibration of love, stay receptive, stay open to the, to the miracles, to the surprises, okay? to the unexpected somebody is deeply in love with you very deeply in love with you here with this unspoken love that's probably why they feel so vulnerable it's scary to this person they feel you're the perfect person for them it's too good to be true this person doesn't feel worthy and deserving it's actually quite sad it's actually quite sad Spirit, can you um, tell me about this King of Pentacles here, please? Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is a law of attraction. And this, this, this King is very attracted to, again, with the let your friends help you. I told you, this person has been getting advice and support from their toxic family and friends that are not awakened, right? that are not conscious and aware that are not healed. Okay. Um, I'm getting here. This person here needs to work on feeling safe to open their heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. This person needs support, but they're, I feel like they need emotional support from the queen of cups from their divine counterpart, but they're not asking. Um, it's you not, it's you letting go here. Things happen sooner when you focus your energy on you. It's you focusing your energy on you, queen of cups and the self-love energy, right? Is what is bringing this in, this reconciliation in. Okay. That's the, the only way it's going to come in. If when you let go and detach and focus on you. Go on dates. Enjoy your life. If you're single, you're single. If you're single, you should be exploring your options. If you're single, you should be out having fun with your friends, with your family, and not waiting for this person here to finally choose you after they chose everyone else but you, everything else but you, right? They're still not choosing you. Live your life. Live your life. Okay. Uh, that's the message. Live your life. If it, what, what's for you will be for you won't pass you by. What's meant to be will be. What will be will be. 
accept what is, accept what comes, accept what stays, accept what goes, accept what crashes. Right? Um, the only the, I believe that this person does feel safe with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a very, she's home. Home is not a place, it's a person. She's home. So this King of Pentacles feels safe with this Queen of Cups. It's the Queen of Cups that doesn't feel safe with the, with with this uh, devil energy, with this, uh, you know, this person is in the, is in the middle of, of not fully matured yet, but not completely immature. They're like in between worlds. They're like right in the middle of getting there. Moving rather slowly because this person is resistance, resistance to, resistant to change. I feel like this person doesn't trust themselves. That's why they don't, they don't feel safe to open up to love. Anyways, to be continued, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I need to rest. I love you guys so much. Look, look at this last message here. Being mirrors for each other makes self-love so important. I wish I was there to love you. But if I'm not, I want you to love and nurture yourself, which the Queen of Pups is doing at this time. Keep doing that, my loves. I love you all. God bless you and namaste. Mwah, 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 mwah. I'm hoping that came out all right with my new mic. I, I think I heard it last time. It came out kind of weird. <laughs> You guys, the information to reach me for a personal reading is on my website in the description box below. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing if this resonated. I love you guys. God bless you and namaste. Till next time.